guys, it's Petra and in today's video I am taking you guys along with me to Europe. Me and my family are traveling to our home country Slovakia and we're stopping along the way to some other countries like Serbia and France and we're gonna spend some time there. I think we're, go we're gonna be gone for like four weeks which is quite a while but I'm gonna take you guys along with me so let's go. It's like 2.30, it's Saturday the 25th of June and right now me and my family are getting ready to go to the airport because we're flying from Canberra to Brisbane, from Brisbane to Doha, and from Doha to Vienna, and then we're gonna take a taxi to Slovakia. That's kind of our plan. I think it's like around 22 hours of flight time plus airport time. This is the bag I'm taking. I've packed like most of my necessities, like my cosmetic stuff and everything, and my book because I'm reading The Diary of Anne Frank. So that's really exciting and I actually really, really need to go now, so let's go. We came to the airport, we checked in, went through security, and something really funny actually happened. So my brother forgot his phone on one of the security trays under the flap, and we had to get the whole security team to find it, and I think we broke the security machine. Right now we're in the lounge to get some lunch, and then our flight is at around 5.30. We just got our food. I ordered a tomato soup. My brother has a pizza. We have some squid and fruit. We finished with lunch, and it's around like 5.50 now because our flight got delayed and we're heading to the gate right now. Our first flight is a little bit more than two hours to Brisbane and then we're going from Brisbane to Doha to Vienna. We just finished our first flight from Canberra to Brisbane and right now we're at the Brisbane airport going to international transfer to go to the international terminal. Our next flight is around like, I think, 15 hours? I'm not sure, but it's from Brisbane to Doha and it's a really long flight, so I'm really excited. And yeah. Hi. Bye. The airport is literally so empty because it's like, I think, 7 p.m. What? It's 8.30 and there's like no one here. Actually, never mind. <laughs> there's a lot of people here. We got our passports checked. Um, yeah, we're in front of the duty free right now and we're waiting for my brother because they had to scan his again. So we just finished at the lounge and now we're heading to our gate, which is the flight from Brisbane to Doha which is a connecting flight to Vienna and Mama, is this flight 14 or 15 hours? It's 14 So this is a 14 hour flight just like the one from Sydney to Dubai seated and we're about to take off i'm really surprised at how many movie choices they have here like they have so many movie choices it's insane but yeah i'm using the little microphone on my headphones because it's really loud here and you guys would not be able to hear me without it so i just got my food and i'm going to show you guys what i got and also we have 12 and a half hours left on the flight i have a beef curry there's some bread i'm not sure what that is there's, I think it's salad, water, and then I got lemonade. We just landed in Doha after a 14 hour flight from Brisbane to Doha. And we're at the airport right now. And I'm not sure if we're going to check in or like where we're even going because we're on a track that's like taking us to security. So I don't know. It's a little confusing, but we're going through security now, apparently. So we're in a lounge right now, and it's 7.13 a.m. in Doha, and I got myself some breakfast from the buffet. This is what I got. It's rice. This is some sort of a vegetarian thing. And then there's tomato with feta and one single olive. Like... 
Bratislava, which is the capital city of Slovakia. In total, we left Canberra 33 hours ago, which is crazy because I'm on the other end of the world right now. I feel really disgusting, so I need to take a shower and then I'm gonna get changed into like some summer clothes because it's like really hot here. And we're gonna like take a walk because it's actually really nice out today. Hey guys, so today's the next day. I've, it's like 7 a.m. and we're at breakfast. I think I've been up since like 3 a.m. but I wanna show you guys how many different types of sausages they have here like in the hotel. So this is the breakfast buffet and they have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types of sausages. And there's bacon and beans. Like this is, I don't remember the last time I've seen this. Here they have like pre-made sandwiches with cheese and ham. And you put them in a toaster and it's like a melted toasty. I also have this like, yogurt it's called actimal and it's sort of like an energy vitamin thing that you drink in the morning hey guys so today is the next day and i do need to explain why i didn't film like any of yesterday except for breakfast after breakfast we went and visited like a whole bunch of people and i didn't really want to film that because of privacy reasons yesterday we visited like two people not two people but like two family friends and we spent a lot of time there it's really really fun today we're going to go see some more people we're going on like a general walk it's really pretty here like the buildings are gorgeous everything's old compared to like australia like half the buildings here are over 500 years old and it's just like the whole european vibe so this is the outfit today i'm wearing this striped dress i have my bag and then i've got this necklace I have a slick back bun, which is probably like one of my favorite hairstyles right now. It's just, I don't know, it's a vibe. But we're just walking through the city right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you guys. You'll see a lot of like this style buildings and like that sort of old, old style. Right now here, we're walking by the presidential palace. Oh, do we really want to take it there? Girl, it's been too long. Clock done fell off the wall. Been out here writing songs Where the hell did the time Behind me here is the National Theater And like around the corner right there Is the acting school I used to go to Let's just say There's a reason I don't go there anymore oh. Three years seems like forever When you sit and think about it I put my heart out on my sleep Hey guys, so right now we're in the Nedbalka Gallery and this gallery really reminds me of the Guggenheim in New York and it's so similar with like the building. I'll show you guys. But we're in the sterile right now because there's I think four floors and they go from like 200 years ago and into more modern art as you get down the stairs. Not stairs, floors. I'll show you guys. So here we're in modern art and I'm not sure how long ago this was, but the one above was like older and now it's like newer and then it just keeps getting newer. And what I mean when I say that it looks like the Guggenheim, I'll show you. It has the levels. And I don't know, it just really reminds me of when we were there. Live without it. Baby, we can't keep no lights and light on too much time by the pool back at Chicago. Sunshine's made fit, chillin', that's the motto. Do we really want to take it there? But as you guys can see, we're at the bottom of the thing. But I swear, this is so similar to the Guggenheim. Like, almost the exact same. Another thing that I completely forgot about Slovakia is that there's casinos like everywhere and they're very heavily marketed like there's a casino there big writing there were signs for it along the way casinos are everywhere and it's not just that one there's like they're everywhere compared to Australia Australia has none and if they do they're not like advertised or anything like at all there's this like underground shopping area under the presidential palace and in this bakery is where me and my dad used to go to like all the time because whenever i had school holidays he would like take me and i would be in his office 
and then we would go to that exact same bakery like all the time. It's literally my whole childhood and it's so nostalgic. We're at dinner now and everyone in my family got the exact same thing, which is fried cheese. I don't, it's fried cheese and it's so good and I haven't had it in forever. So we literally all just got the same thing. That's what it looks like and it's so stretchy and it's so delicious. But yeah, we all got the exact same thing. Okay, so I'll show you guys exactly how stretchy the cheese is. It literally keeps going. Like, I'm not even kidding. Hey guys, so today is our third day in Bratislava, and today we're at the dentist. So, I don't really know how to feel about it. I, I've never been like the type of person that's scared of dentists, but not very excited this time. I was supposed to get braces, but it wouldn't work out like time-wise. So I just get them done in camera. But um, yeah, really maybe excited because I'm gonna get my teeth checked and like cleaned. So yeah. Hi guys, so we went away from the dentist and basically what happened was I got my teeth checked to see if there were like any problems and there isn't because I'm like great at keeping my teeth healthy, which is awesome. But they did talk about like braces and the whole process and everything. So basically what's gonna happen is in Australia, oh my God, the lighting. In Australia, I'm gonna get my braces done and like the whole thing because it like takes too long for us to do it here. We're back at the hotel now and we did a fruit run at the market where we used to go to like all the time when we lived here. And I've, I'm pretty sure this is like 10 kilos worth of fruit, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got. Because it's summer and we're in the Northern Hemisphere, that means we obviously have to get cherries because cherries are just absolutely amazing. And we got this really big packaging and I haven't tried them yet, but they look really good. Then we have this small packet of raspberries. I don't have much to say about raspberries, but raspberries are probably one of my favorite fruits and they're really good for summer and just so good. We got apricots and I don't remember the last time I had these. I don't think we can really get them in Australia, but these ones are actually so pretty and they smell really good. Next, we got plums. These ones are huge. And the ones we get in Australia are usually like smaller. I don't remember last time I seen like the big ones, but yeah, I really, really hope they're not sour, but they look kind of sweet. This one's exploded a little, but they look sweet. So that's so exciting. And finally, we got this pack of strawberries and these actually smell amazing. But yeah, that's all the fruit we got. I'll just show you guys. I love fruit. Hey guys, so it's like several hours later and right now we're heading to a get together with our neighbors in the same apartment building that we used to live in when we lived here. This is the outfit, this top, this skirt and bag. Same as this morning. I just thought it was really cute. This over here is the corner shop I used to go to when we didn't have any like necessities like eggs or milk. So much nostalgia. Hi guys, so I'm back at the hotel now after the neighbor reunion thing. I don't really know what to call it. It was sort of like a dinner party, but I was really tired. So I decided to come back to the hotel and I am falling apart. It's like 8 a.m. I think in, Sl not Slovakia, in Canberra, Australia. And it's, I think, like 12 a.m. here. But anyway, in like the hallway of the hotel, I actually love this hotel because they give you a whole bunch of free stuff that's like included with the price. But there's like food in the hallway. And I picked up this stuff. There's like a little apricot cookie, some pretzels, and like breadsticks. So good. And also, everything in the mini bar is free too. Like, I love this hotel so much. And then I have some sparkling water and a cup for that. I'm not entirely sure what else we're doing tomorrow. So I feel like we'll just figure that out along the way. 
But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Hi, guys. Today is day four in here, outside my best friend's house. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> She's trying not to make eye contact with people she knows because we've already seen two. Yeah. Her cousin and her classmate. Yeah. Things. I'm so fucking nervous. Okay, let's go again. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, that'll you never know. It's about us. It's about us. Sweet.